Hey guys, I'm here with a DVD Fiends review for week 40 something, and uh, this week I'll be talking about uh, Sisters of Death, which comes on this lovely box set right here. Uh, Tales of Terror, 10 movies. And I've actually, it's been a while, I couldn't think of a movie that I really wanted to review because um, uh, I actually should be getting more movies soon. I do have some exploitation movies that I have that I have not watched yet. I just got from online, like Tracker 3, and stuff left over before I got banned from Sim again, but I have a lot of movies I still need to talk about, but, um, one that I decided to do, I don't, uh, I really don't like this movie, and, uh, it comes on a lot of public domain sets. It is, uh, Sisters of Death, and this is the one I got, Tales of Terror 10-pack. Only reason I got this was for Christmas Evil and House on the Edge of the Park, and, um, Jesus Christ, is Sisters of Death not boring? I mean, uh, so it starts out some initiation for some, I forget if it's like a, like some sorority house, I don't really know, and I don't really care. Um, Secret Society, and, uh, they're playing Russian Roulette because they're a bunch of dumbasses, and, um, why the fuck would you do that? You know, I'm not even gonna get into it. What the fuck kind of society is this? So, um, yeah... One of them gets killed, and years later, they show up at this house, and, um... They get this invitation to go to this house, and they show up, and there are all these refreshments set everywhere, and, um... It turns out it's a trap. No shit, it's a trap. Um... They're all stuck in there, and there's this whole thing with the dad of the, uh... Girl who they killed comes... It's, it's fucking horrible. There's no other way to describe it. It's a really bad movie. It's horribly done, like... The, uh... Antagonist... I actually... You know what? Reading the back of this... It's PG, which, uh, kind of threw me off a bit. But, um... You know what? Some PG... I don't know. Maybe... I don't fucking know. I didn't really read the PG rating before I watched this. I just read the synopsis, and I was like, Hell yeah. Sounds like an awesome slasher movie, but no, it's not. It's, uh... They show the killer... Not even, I don't think even halfway into the movie, the, uh, father comes out and... Whoa, lights just flickering up. So anyway, um... The, uh, father shows up and he's, like, coming to get revenge and... I don't really remember, I don't really care. The movie is so, so just bad. I mean, boring is really the main way to describe this, I mean... I could give two shits about any of the characters in this. Of course, there are two guys who follow them uh, into the house, and n none of the characters are interesting here. They're all bland. They're all normal characters you see in every movie. And, um, not even the crazed father is interesting. So the movie's boring. It's PG, so there's no entertainment. There's no entertainment value. None of the characters are good. The movie's boring as hell. There's no gore, even. There's no gore to save the movie. There's no... Barely any drops of blood. Um, they kill the really hot girl within the two second, two, uh, within the first two minutes of the movie. So um, this movie is just one big failure. Um, I don't know. The only thing I can say is that the quality of the movie is nice and grainy and looks like a seventies movie. Um, and man, the dialogue is just horrible. But really, what do you expect from a movie like this? But yeah. Uh. I mean, at least if they added some sex and violence, it could rank on the same level as Snakes on a Plane, but then again, that's really not a good place to be, because at least Snakes on a Plane is entertaining at parts. This one, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm afraid to watch anything else on this set. Actually, Cinema Snob just uh, recommended Messiah of Evil, which was uh, one that I guess I'll have to get to watching, but um, yeah... Sisters of Death, I, I know that they have a few other releases out there, some budget releases, I forget the name of the uh, company, but it's one of those companies like Diamond, I remember like every DVD that they have is like either like blue, it looks really nice on the cover, I'm, it's no use, it's like a white background with like blue or purple lettering and it looks really nice and like a feathered picture in the middle or something like that, they had that for like pieces and all these different types of movies, but yeah, Diamond released a version of this. It's from every the movie is on every budget, uh, every budget company that you can really think of, but really, uh, free would be too much for this movie. Whatever you do, avoid this. Um, 
don't even like download it. It's not worth it. It's uh, it's just a boring movie. I think that's really all I can say about it. Avoid Sisters of Death.